So why do we as a community for the most part recommend you not to summon on premium banners? You might be looking at this character on screen and you're thinking that's a premium banner. If this banner was out, I would summon for it. And a lot of people did. And I don't blame those who did or say you were wrong for summoning on the banner. You do you. You know, if you want to summon for your favorite character, go right ahead. I'm not going to try and stop you. Although some people might. Trying to get you to play the game the way they want you to play it. But I'm not one of those. And the reason why we say to skip certain banners, mostly premium, is because there's something called limited banners, there's seasonal banners, and this limited banner has Safwi, Camp for Your Own World, Burn the Witch, Thousand Year Blood War, movie banners. There's a bunch of limited banners that come out that you aren't able to get anywhere else. And as good as this character is right here, this character is pretty, pretty good. It has a lot of, you know, like full stamina damage boost, 20%. Uh, debilitator plus five uh, seconds frenzy plus two increased chance uh, to inflict status ailment against speed attribute enemies sharpshooter status ailment spiritual pressure boost of 80% there's a lot going for this character but you can get him from other methods like if we take a look at this soul reaper academy called the point event uh, if you look I got four out of four bonus that means I'm getting 200% more points and I'm getting four extra rewards when I do uh, a run or per soul ticket so if I spend 10 soul tickets it's going to be uh, an extra four rewards per soul ticket which gives you access to these brave soul summon tickets brave soul accessory tickets and you get soul tickets back um, every time you get this you get three soul tickets back now these right here are pretty good these can give you access to any premium character in the pool so that means if you were to save like for example I'm saving my brave soul summon tickets for the anniversary in July on July 23rd you're gonna have the eighth anniversary characters which is usually two and they're usually very powerful characters then they're followed up by a limited banner at the end of July, which you will not be able to use your uh, Brave Soul Summon tickets to actually have a chance of pulling. You, you, you're you better off saving your orbs for the limited banner because both of those banners are going to be really good. And if you can pull the 8th anniversary premium characters from these Brave Soul Summon tickets, you know, you're going to save orbs. So what are the rates on these tickets? 3%. So that means if you were to save 100 of these tickets... And were to use them at once on average over a long enough period of time you should be pulling three does that mean you can pull less yes I mean I've had people if you save up enough of this you'll have times where you don't pull any five stars from a hundred multi or a hundred times 100 multi but there's also times where people pull seven eight nine ten eleven five stars from one of these times 100 multis is it rare yeah but it's still possible so if you were to save up, let's just say a thousand of those tickets for anniversary, on average, you should be pulling about 35 stars. Now, some of them are going to be new, especially the older your account is, uh, the, the chances of them being new are reduced. But if you're a new player, you're going to be pulling a lot of new five stars from these. So this is like a really, really good way. Like last year for seventh anniversary, Instead of summoning on the actual premium banner and pulling the 7th anniversary Ichigo, I did not pull a 7th anniversary Yu to Yu. If I would have just waited and used the orbs that I summoned on that banner, I theoretically could have pulled, um, the because I did pull 7th anniversary Ichigo and Yu to Yu from BBS tickets, or the Brave Soul Summon tickets. And I could have saved some orbs. But at the same time, on that banner there were seasonal banners, which are a limited unit. And I ended up pulling a decent amount of limited characters from that, along with some premium. And overall, I was happy I got most of my orbs back, if not break even. Maybe I actually, I might have actually profited. I can't remember, but it, you know, I was satisfied at that time. You know, but at this this anniversary, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the amount of new characters that would make going super, like past step six, worth it. Um, 
And even if I did, if I can pull the two main characters that I want from that, I'd be better off waiting for those other characters to be in a, a filler. Because a lot of those characters, once uh, you get to the 7th, or this case will be the 8th anniversary, I'll probably see those characters as filler after the 8th anniversary. You know, so let's just say I could potentially pull them in the future from other banners that I would actually want to summon for. And then you also get access to the Brave Soul accessory tickets by doing the point event and you get soul tickets back. So this right here is why you want to not spend orbs on premium banners. If you take a look at where I'm at currently, I got about, I think 1,100. Might be a little bit over now. Yeah, so 1,130. So I'll get, on average, 33 five-star characters from this. I'm also at near the 10K mark on here, which on average I get about three five-stars per 10,000 of that. So if I get the 10K on here, that's three here, plus 33 here. So that on average between these two, that should be around 36 five-stars pulled from this. Now this, I'm gonna use as soon as I get to 10K. This is the one I save up for. And I'm going to be saving for 8th anniversary and the chance of getting the 8th anniversary premium characters from these tickets. And by doing this, you over time, you'll pull pretty much all the premium 5 stars with some exceptions from this. Another thing I've been saving up for, uh, where is it? Is it up here? Yep. Are these 5 star summon tickets? This, I believe, has no limitations on the premium characters you're able to pull either. So therefore, <coughs> excuse me, if I save enough of these up, that's an extra four or five stars that could potentially be some new five star characters or the eighth anniversary characters. The, there are some, or not anniversary, there are some premium characters that we do say summon for. It's for the most part a salmon for most premium banners. Like if the premium banner is really broken or has a farming unit, we, we, we say, yeah, you should still probably skip this, but maybe if you want to go a little, you know, a few summons in there, maybe to step five or step six or seven, I, I can see you doing it and it, would, it wouldn't be that bad of a deal because there are some very powerful characters. Like, for example, that Ichigo, Tenza Sengetsu, and uh, Ishin banner. That one was a, you know, banner that people, uh, is, we, I would end up, like, it makes it seem like I get upset if you summon on that banner. Like, people aren't going to really say, yeah, you made a bad decision for summoning on that banner because, you know, the characters, you know, they're pretty good. But for the most part, there's not that many of those types of premium banners that come out. There's a lot more bad premium banners that aren't really worth summoning for, that aren't going to provide you with the good characters that are, you know, as good as those characters that I mentioned. Because, you know, mid-month premium banners mid-month banners in general are usually not that powerful or that good they're kind of like a hey here's some free or not free but here are some characters you might want to summon for here's a yoroichi here's a rukia here's a ichigo here's a chad uh, or Hime. you know they're gonna be like oh i got a summon for it's my favorite character and that's what they're basically there for the end of the month banners are usually the go-to ones where they're gonna be for the most part good or really good the 8th anniversary banner for July 23rd, usually, and the 9th anniversary for the year after. Um, any anniversary banners are, for the most part, recommended to summon on because they add a bunch of filler characters in there that are actually pretty good, usually. They're usually some of the better uh, summons from the seasonal and premium pool that make it worth actually going to step 6 for the guaranteed. On both the oh on the multis it's guaranteed on the singles it's you get some extra rewards so like just doing the step seven and stopping at step seven is basically the recommended one for the anniversary banners but like all things you're just gonna have to figure out what you want to do I could say hey uh, don't do it but you play the game differently than I do and that's fine you play the game the way you want to enjoy it. None of these, oh, don't summon on these premium banners are, you know, concrete rules. It's just a recommendation. So that's the way you can look at it. Don't think too much of it. 
if you want to summon, for example, on this banner right now, like right here, this banner, not really that good. It's a mid-month banner. You know, if you take a look at their stats and skills, they really don't have anything going for them. Damage to drain enemies as a soul trait. I'm not sure how that's going to be impactful or how impactful that's going to be. This character right here is the only one. Is the, Yeah, it's the one that I wouldn't mind pulling through BBS tickets. I wouldn't personally summon for it because it has a plus five potion for soul trait. And it has also the droplet drop 30%. And then this character also not really that great either. So all the characters on there were not really that good. If you take a look at the filler, not really that good either. This is a skip premium banner. But let's just say you really want to summon on this banner because you really like Momo. You don't have this Yuryu. And you really want this uh, Tsukushima. So you have like three characters on here that you really want to fill out your collection. Go for it. Play the game the way you want to. It's just a recommendation. I'm personally not going to summon for it because I really don't care. Uh, for any of those characters and I can pull them from BBS tickets over the course of time Anywho, that's pretty much it. I kind of rambled on a little bit longer than I wanted to but that's the general idea of it There's better banners coming along that you cannot get from BBS tickets or five-star tickets Thousand-year blood war movie characters burn the witch characters camp funeral world Safwi, you know seasonal characters you can't get those from, for the most part, from normal five-star tickets or the BBS tickets. So, saving your orbs for those banners are going to be better off for you in the long run. But if you just got to have the character now, like you want to have that Momo, like right now, go right ahead. And that's pretty much it. So, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. See you guys next time. Peace.